transition is your first step into the world of kite loops and will enable you to change your tack even when you have another rider close behind you. In order to learn how a kite behaves during a loop, start off by body dragging with plenty of downwind space. Bring your kite up to 12 o'clock, pull the bar halfway in so that the back lines are under tension, then pull hard on one side of the bar while pushing away on the other side. Keep pulling and let the kite complete the loop. Wait for it to climb back up to 12 o'clock before straightening the bar again. Once the loop is complete, untwist your bar. Once you are comfortable with the kite looping, it is time to do it while riding your board. Bring the kite up to 12 o'clock and start looping it while simultaneously riding downwind towards your kite. As long as you ride downwind, the loop will not feel powerful and allow you to get used to looping the kite whilst riding. Once the loop is complete, untwist your bar and start riding upwind again. Now it's time to combine the down loop with the transition. As you bring the kite up to 12 o'clock, point your board hard into the wind and get ready to switch your weight from your back foot to your front foot as you would in a normal transition. Since your board is pointing downwind, you will simply follow the kite's pull and ride away into the new direction. The down loop transition can easily be combined with a pop to toe side or simply a toe side tack. By looping the kite it will feel very natural to switch from your toe side to heel side stance. The harder you loop the kite, the more you will be able to lean into the turn and carve through the water. If you need a bit more power on a water start, you can also loop your kite to get out of the water and ride away with style. A common mistake is to start off with the kite below 12 o'clock or not steering hard enough which will not give the kite enough space to complete the loop. <laughs> 